Hello there, John Hall here from Right Here Pens and today, oh, it looks as if we're going to be looking at a sailor pen and it is the 1911 ringless metallic and there we are. Comes with all the usual, so well not a huge amount actually, it comes with a converter. They all come with a converter. And here we are. Now, the Ringless is a series that they've been running for a few years now. Um, and as you can see, it is totally unadorned. And the ring is probably the one around the cap band that is missing. Oh, there's nothing on the barrel, not much anyway. So there we go. So that's Ringless. And I wanted to have a closer look at this because when I initially saw the photographs, it looked as if it was totally plain that you would get a uniform finish and when we had a look at them we saw that that is not entirely the case and as you can see unfortunately there's some reflections here from the ceiling but you can also see that there are striations and like pinch marks around the bottom as if they've squeezed the material there onto the band but let's have a more general look at the pen. I mean, it is a straightforward 1911 large size. So it has the 21 karat nib. There we go. We always like a good look at the nib. Probably tell us what size it is. I think this one's medium fine, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And it comes in fine, medium, fine, medium and broad. An ABS feed there, very nice. Cartridge converter. So here we go. The converter won't be in it because we've already seen it's in the box. But anyway, here we are, and you can see we've got nice ruthenium appointments there. The material is also slightly translucent, so it's not actually like the standard black model, um, which is certainly not translucent. So here we go. Now you can see all these little lines on it. And it's a matter of whether you feel that spoils the plain perfection of the pen or whether it adds a bit of interest to it. And I've got to say, it pays you money, it takes your choice about that. I'm undecided. I mean, it's a 1911 large. I like the 1911 large. You're going to be paying a bit of a premium for the fact that it's ringless. I'm not sure that it's particularly metallic. I think it's an interesting finish. But interesting can be a rather two-edged sword. So there we have it. Also available in silver or grey, not sure which they call it, and red, which is a sort of pinky colour. All solar pens are good. What I can be certain of is that it will write beautifully. And if it's the sort of thing that floats your boat, set sail. There we go.